the OJ Farms homestead. As you've seen, they was mowing with the John Deere 5045E. And uh, John Deere MX-8 mower. And uh, I'll tell you, that right there is a mowing outfit. I kind of fell out with quality equipment. But I will say one thing for the tractor. It has done everything that we wanted it to do and handled it well. But I, uh, I won't buy from quality equipment again. I've been, the last things we needed, we went to James River and uh, we were very pleased with how we were treated. Very good people. And uh, I had to get that thing cleaned off. But it, uh, it does the job. We're going to show you where we had some hay down and show you some other things. We appreciate y'all watching. If you uh, don't mind, hit that like button and uh, leave us a comment. If you haven't ever subscribed, subscribe. We always got something going on. But I tell you, if you're in the market for a good mower, that MX-8 right there is perfect with this tractor here. But that thing can handle a 10 foot. From what I got a buddy of mine, he uses a 10 foot with his. And uh, he does it does very well. So y'all just keep watching, we'll show you some more stuff. As y'all remember, the last time I think we showed you there's hay on the ground. But as you can see, it's all been got up. And uh, I'll show you up here where they got it stacked. That hay smells so good. It's 22 rolls. And uh, that'll sure come in handy this winter. But it, uh, it's a really, really pretty hay. I sure wish y'all could smell it. But there's 22 rolls off that field for the second cutting. So they, uh, I was very pleased with that. And if y'all remember that bottom that uh, we did a video back in, I don't know, back in February or sometime, where we was reclaiming that bottom, they mowed it. And I apologize, I was not able to be out when they were raking and bailing, but I just was not able. I'm gonna take you down to that bottom and uh, let you see the hay that's been baled. As you can see, we still got more hay to cut. Cut down yonder in this middle section, this field over here, that little patch right there beside the chicken house. And then there's a patch, a field back behind Lynn's house. And then this field right there, we'll have to get it cut. And then the field up on the highway. But uh, let's go down to that bottom now, see how everything looks. I'll tell you a story on Lynn. We was in the gator one Sunday afternoon after church, late one Sunday evening, we was riding around checking the fields. We was coming in here, coming down here and check this bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, bump it, y'all. Um, we was coming down here to check this bottom. We slipping through here. And <coughs> I don't know, it's late and it's kind of dark. We started up this little hill right here and I wasn't paying no attention, I was driving. And 
and uh, right over there. And I don't know if you can see it. Right there. There's an old pine log right there if you see that dark spot. <coughs> Lynn was looking out that away. About that time she hollered. She said, Jeremy, a bear. I said, where? And I turned over where she pointed and I said, that ain't no bear, that's a pine log. She said, oh, I thought it was a bear. We've had black bear move in here. I saw one down at the creek. And then we saw a big mama bear sow with some cubs in the field over behind Lynn's house last year. But, um, <coughs> come down through this corn patch and get over here. I'm going to show you what, uh, I don't know for a fact it was them. But it's either the bear or the deer. Well, that could be a bunch of coons or squirrels, I guess. But um, I'll show you what they've done to this corn over here. I'm coming into the next patch here. I'll show you how they have literally destroyed this corn. They've done it on both sides, but I don't know if you can see it as good on that side, but up here, I'll show you. Didn't have the best stand anyway over here, they didn't, but I tell you, when they, and you see how they've tore it down all through there. They have, you see it laying on the ground. They have wrecked that corn and it's that way all the way to the back side. You see how they've tore it down. And there's not an ear left on any of these stalks. It's completely gone. This bottom is, I don't know, it's a good, it's a good uh, half mile off the road, if not longer than that. I wouldn't doubt it's longer than that, to be honest with you. saw and sawed out this road so they could get in with the hay equipment and uh, there was still two more he was going to cut and then we were going to tell them to go ahead and mow it well they just went ahead and mowed it anyway but uh, we'll get down here at the bottom I'll bring you right back and we worked on this field for two years. And uh, this is the first crop we've got off of it. Um, we're gonna try to sow it this fall, but for the first crop, we ended up with 20, 21 rolls, which is very good. Considering what we went through with this field, I think that's a pretty sight seeing that hay laying across the field. A lot of Johnson grass down here. And, uh, I'm about to bring the saw that Gavin saw that tree down. We started with this field. This field was full of trees. And uh, they were small enough we were able to mow them. 
but I tell you that hay looks good. It smells good too. I can smell it. But uh, just thought we'd show you this bottom. Because y'all saw us work on it if you've been with us a while. I know of two videos of where we work down here. I'm sorry. I just hit a bump. Um, this is probably the least quality of hay that we bale this year. But by the time we get done with this field, uh, we'll have some good ones. But this right here will still be good um, for what it is. Gavin said this morning, we were talking about it on the way to school. He said, I told him, I said, well, this hack might not be the very best. He said, Daddy, them hoovers at the house, they'll eat it. That's what we call it, a set of cows at the house. They can suck down the hay the fastest of anybody I've ever seen, of any cow. And uh, he said, Daddy, them hoovers will eat it. There were some weeds in it, but they were tender enough and had not seeded out, so we got them off the land, so that's good too. Like I say, there's a lot of Johnson grass down here. Heard one little bee roll. We just thought we'd bring you along. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, uh, hit that like button, leave us a comment. And if you've never subscribed and you've been watching us, I tell you, it sure would help us. Anytime you hit that like button and leave a comment and subscriptions, it helps the channel. And uh, we would appreciate your help. We cannot do it without you. So I'm going to see if I can get up this hill right here. It don't look that steep on camera, but it's pretty steep. I'm going to go out a different way and I come in. May have to put it in four-wheel drive. We'll see. Yep, that's what Gear now. Let's see here. Oh, look at there, would you? She climbed right out of there. We do appreciate y'all. And y'all know how it goes. You keep loving on folks and keep serving folks. Keep bragging on Jesus, and I promise you, you'll get the blessing. I'm sorry it's so bumpy I'm climbing this hill, but uh, we'll be back. Boys got a tractor show Saturday, and uh, we'll try to show you something there, and uh, we will uh, be back quick as we can. We appreciate y'all. Until next time, thank you for watching.